illustration of a roof here. This is the substrate of the roof. And when most roofers install a drain, they would install it on top of the substrate, the plywood here. And then they will install the membrane right over the substrate like this. And what happens is this particular part of the drain area becomes higher than the rest of the roof. So when it rains, water will fill up in this area behind this flashing and cause some pooling, unnecessary pooling on the roof, especially when there's skylights or stuff like that around. So, and then debris will collect around the strainer and make the water pool even more. This can go as much as three, four inches. I've seen a roof fill up with water like this. The best way is to take the substrate and cut through this plywood where the beams are and lower this section of the particular roof and make a basin where the drain is supposed to be. So once the drain is in a basin like this, it's around four or five inches lower than the roof itself. Then when it rains, only the basin gets filled with water. And even if debris collects around the strainer, it will allow the water to fill up in a basin and not on the roof itself, and then flow over the debris into the strainer. This is the correct way to have a drain on a roof. So you can collect debris in this basin, and it gives you enough time to come and clean up the basin of this drain area instead of having the whole roof flooded. The best thing is to get your drains either lowered or when they install a new roof, have them lowered to a proper area like this.